Patrick Vieira and Ledley King lead out the respective sides to a cacophony of noise here at White Hart Lane. It's a full house, you won't be surprised to hear. Spurs lock horns with Arsenal in the first North London derby of the season. Well, Spurs make one change to that starting 11 at Burnley, a 3-0 win in midweek in that League Cup. Swedish international left-back Eric Edman, who's been out recently with a serious bout of concussion, returns in place of Stephen Kelly. Simon Davis, Jamie Redknapp, Freddie Canute all started the last Premiership game, but they must make do with a place on the substitutes bench today. As for Arsenal, as expected, Arsene Wenger recalls his entire first-choice 11 for this one. He rested them all for that midweek League Cup win over Everton. Four of that side make the bench. Van Persie, Flamini, Hoyt and Almunia. And Vieira. Given away by Bergkamp to Edmund. It's an interesting pass. It's Jermaine Defoe. Chance now, Mendes! Sprawling save in the end by Lehman. Yeah, certainly a great little spell there for Tottenham. Defoe picking the ball up just in that inside left channel and picked out Mendes on that far post area. And it was a, it was a good contact and uh, has made Lehman's make a, the first save, real save of the game early on. Spurs just edging it in terms of possession. It's a, it's a stat that but Arsenal wouldn't have uh, to their disadvantage in many situations, normally have a lot of the ball, a lot of possession. Today Tottenham just shading it so far in this game. Carrick. It's misjudged by Seagull, this is Defoe. Keane in the middle! And the ball took a couple of ricochets, first off the goalkeeper, then an Arsenal defender. Sigon got out of jail. Yeah, great play by Defoe and then Sigon there, just getting the wrong side of it. Should never allow him to do that. 35 minutes have flown by here, as they tend to do, and rivalry is at its fiercest. It certainly is between these two. Arsenal have been laughing in the face of Spurs these last few years. Ziegler has got a free kick, it's gone against Lauren. Yes. Oh, and it's going to fall here, chance, goal, Tottenham! It's Nuridi Nebet! The Moroccan scores his first goal for Tottenham and what a game in which to get it I think it was Torre tries to win it in front of Ledley King and it flies all the way to Nabet at the back post who takes it on his chest nice and calm lets the ball drop and finishes with a left foot left foot strike desperate Arsenal defenders flying across the face of the ball trying to block it there you see Martin Yole is one delighted man along with all the Tottenham faithful So I've got another free kick to defend here. Driven in dangerously, oh, fabulous save by Lehman. He had to react and he needed every bit of his height here, Jens Lehman. Well, that was a great delivery in, two players converging on Jermaine Defoe. He just managed to get that little flick on, the pace was on the ball, looked like it was going to loop over Jens Lehman. Just gets his fingertips onto it and turns it over the crossbar. Martin Yol would have loved to have been going in at 2 0, wouldn't he? A minute to be added on at the end of a frantic first half, and here's Henri. Brilliant control, Thierry Henri! Does what he does best. The Premiership's leading goal scorer gets his 11th of this campaign, and Arsenal, out of nothing, so typical of them, are on terms. Oh, it's, a, it's such a hard ball to control coming over his shoulder. Well, that is very difficult skill to do, and he's made it look quite easy. And great composure, a great finish, and that's a real blow for Tottenham. Rares, lots of Arsenal possession. 
free kick given by Steve Bennett. Pomero suggesting that Reyes was looking to take the easy dive. <laughs> Calm down the message to Mrs. Uh, Pomero and Reyes, particularly the Spurs defender. He's a powerful man, Pomero. Very strong thighs. Impressed with the way he kept up with Thierry Henry just a few minutes earlier. Henry's free kick and no sting in the header from Lundberg. Oh, and uh, Robinson's lost oh. that. Goodness me. Just ran into his own man, Ledley King, Paul Robinson. This is Lundberg. Gets away from Pamaro, penalty. And it all stemmed from the horrible error. From Paul Robinson, his side were immediately on the back foot, and Pamaro has conceded a penalty. Ah, disastrous little spell for Tottenham when you think of it. Great strength from Freddie Lundberg, I've got to say. I just praising Pamaro, saying how strong he was, but he got around him, got in front of him, and Pamaro could only just hold on to him and bring him down. Certainly, my first reaction was it was a stonewall penalty. And it's not Thierry Henry, it's Lauren. Now that has raised a few eyebrows around White Hart Lane. Can the Cameroonian hold his nerve? He can! And the champions have come from behind to lead in the North London derby. It's Lauren from the penalty spot. Well, that's as cool as you like. Oh, it's amazing there you see it. Poor he's got one hand in the ball. And he's sort of run into Ledley King, the ball pops out, Arsenal gain possession. There you see it slid into Lundberg. Shows great strength here, I've got to say, to hold off Pamaro. And he just does enough, clips his heels, pulls him down. And here's Lauren, nice and coolly, just slotting it in. That's a disaster for Tottenham, I've got to say. Brown hurried out of it, this is Bergkamp. And Moody Nebet needed to intercept that, Lundberg was on his way. Oh, and Vieira is through the Spurs defence. Patrick Vieira! Arsenal in the comfort zone. The skipper. 3-1, they now lead Tottenham. And surely that's going to be enough. Well, I'll talk about shoot yourself in the foot. There you see him coming out with the ball. The ball runs away from him. Vieira picks up, gets a little bit of luck with the bounce of the ball, but he's through there. Draws Paul Robinson as he goes to ground, just lifts it over him nice and calmly. Here you see there's Carrot, King, Nabit, all out the game. And he sticks at him with all the confidence in the world. Defoe. Have a little turn from Jermaine Defoe. Can he go all the way? Oh, oh he can! What that a is finish. absolutely <laughs> sensational from Jermaine Defoe. What a reply from Tottenham, and one of the goal of the season contenders, without any doubt. Well, I think sensational is a great description of this goal, Kev. And as it comes into him tightly, great feet, quick feet, drives in, straight through, and he strikes it brilliantly well. And Lehman's got absolutely no chance, can't even get anywhere near it, hasn't even bothered moving for it. It's that great a strike, and it's given Tottenham a lifeline. Pires with Bergkamp. Promising perhaps for Arsenal. It's under the reach of Robert Pires. It's won back quickly again by Fabregas. Clever pass, Lundberg! Arsenal score again! Freddy Lundberg! But Cesc Fabregas, the young, talented Spaniard, had a big part to play in that. Freddie Lundberg has made it 4-2 Arsenal. Well, unbelievable the way that unfolded. Great play by Dennis Perkham. Tried to thread a little ball through, got cut out, then they won the ball back. Fabregas picks the ball up. And it looks like there's nothing on, and all of a sudden he reverses a great little pass. He's certainly onside, Lundberg. Shows all the composure that's required and slots it under Paul Robinson. And just giving Arsenal that bit more breathing space. But that wonderful Jermaine Defoe goal had denied them. But they're back in pole position. Nebet forward and King for the free kick and a goal! Ledley King! 
And this astonishing match takes yet another twist. The Spurs skipper beats the flailing dive of Jens Lehmann. It's 4-3. Yeah, I mean, it's a great delivery in, and he just, well, he gets a little bit lucky because it's right in the middle of a cluster of red shirts. But he uses his physical presence, fights for it, gets that touch, and the pace is on the cross, which allows him just to get that head on it, and that just drifts be beyond Jens Lehmann. There you see, look, three shirts all around him. He just manages to get that touch. That makes it 4-3, and it's game on again. striker of the ball, Michael Carrick, he'd be disappointed with that. Uh, the opportunity presented itself to foe, you can see four or five players converge on him, a sloppy ball out, defence by Lauren, comes to Carrick and uh, you'd expect him to do better, I've got to say. Robin Van Persie is about to come on for Dennis Bergkamp, but this is Freddie Lundberg, looking for Henri! Brilliant tackle from Edmund, still on. Chance and he scores! Robert Pires! And yet another twist to this incredible chapter of North London derby history. Arsenal are two goals to the good yet again. Well, it's unbelievable. Lundberg comes in there and knocks a great little ball. I think Henri's first touch was excellent, but a great come across from Edmund to get the block, and I thought the Pires had missed the opportunity. Once he cut inside, I thought he's lost it, then he drags it again. This is where I thought he'd lost it, but great feet. Just gets a yard on Pamaro, and he slides it under Paul Robertson to make it 5-3. Can Tottenham, Tottenham keep coming back? I just can't see them being able to do, any, do it anymore in these last ten or so minutes. Sloppy from Henri. Ziegler. And Canute! They've got another back! <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> Thierry Henri's error. And once again, Ziegler showing his eye for a pass and a fine finish from Freddy Canute. Well, very unlike Thierry Henri. It's a great little chip. He's in space. Henri's tried to make up the ground after giving the ball away. There you see a great little stand-up chip from Edmund. Canute comes on to it and a great side foot finish. And what an interesting end to this game. Well, they're going to be replaying, replaying and replaying again this match for a long time to come. Tottenham 4, Arsenal 5. Sigon. Headed down, it's going to break again for Spurs. Perez wasn't the header he meant. And the shot whistles wide from Simon Davis, and is that Spurs' last opportunity? Well, that's a little bit of luck you need sometimes where you get a lucky break, the ball falls for you, someone gets a strike on it, fell for Simon, Simon Davis. Perez just doing enough cutting across and getting a foot across the ball just to put him off. I just think that helped him pull the shot. Four minutes of stoppage time is up. And Spurs are back on top of the Premiership in incredible fashion. Handshakes all round. But this will be a game that will live in the memory for a long, 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 long time to come. Martin Yole's first official uh, game in charge as head coach of Tottenham. Arsenal, top of the Premiership, at least for now. Unbelievable game. Nine goals, and Arsenal come out on top by five goals to four.